Some of you told me that you haven't been getting notifications of my new videos. To make sure you get notified of anything I upload, be sure to click the bell icon right beside the subscribe button on my Funny Drug channel after you've subscribed. Then a pop-up will appear. Make sure the box is checked so you'll get notifications of my new videos. Hope this helps. Based on your comments, some of you have been unsubscribed again because of the YouTube system glitch. If this has happened to you, please let me know in the comments, and I will try to forward your case to the YouTube tech team on your behalf. And I hope that your comments will help them fix this problem sooner. In case you find yourself unsubbed because of the glitch, you can try resubscribing back onto my Fun and Draw channel. Please let me know. Keep being awesome. And now for Fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. Last week was part three of Travel with the Artist. Thank you for all your support with your likes, subscribes, and comments. Today, I'll turn blind scribbles into a finished work of art because some of you have been asking me to do this. And actually, I've never done this before. I am a little nervous right now because I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So, stay tuned to see what I'm going to draw. <laughs> ah. Okay, so now I'm going to just close my eyes and turn over here and then I'm just going to like randomly scribble whatever. Um, I just really hope that it's going to be workable. Okay, so let's do this. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't go off the paper. <laughs> oh, I don't even know where to start. Okay. Uh, le, 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 le. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> what? The what? Okay, this is really hard. It took me some time to figure out how I'm going to turn these few random lines into something that actually makes sense. Like I had no idea where to start or what to do. What do you think? What would this be? Something about it looks like a face or a bowling ball or a person bending over or a Christmas ornament. Also, how am I going to incorporate all the little lines? One thing I did like was the curved stroke at the left side. It looked like an eyebrow ridge. Then I decided to try to make these scribbles into a girl's face. When I was first trying to come up with an idea for the finished artwork, I was so confused on the little lines in the middle. Like if this was a face, how would those lines work? I had to work out something for that line going right across the mouth area. If I didn't do it right, it would stick out, which is not what I want for this artwork. One thing I didn't want to do was just to cover the scribble lines. I wanted to keep them as they were and work around them. So you can still see the original scribble lines in the art when it's finished. At this stage, I still felt the lines inside the face were distracting. There's still lots of work to do if I'm going to turn this into a beautiful girl. After lots of brainstorming, I decided to give my mysterious girl a fancy mask and veil inspired by masquerades, and then I can incorporate all those small distracting lines into a beautiful design. Wow. 
Wow, what a difference. Can you still see the blind scribble in the inked artwork? For her hair, I wanted to do something different from the goddess in my 100 markers challenge, so I went with cool colors. One of my favorite things about using markers is when I'm layering the different colors together to get a gradual shift in tones. It's really satisfying, especially when I added brighter colors later on. I love adding pink and the blue here. Gives it some warmth. I like how the veil incorporates the scribble lines near the mouth area. At first I had no clue how to make that area work, but now I like this idea. Planning a color scheme was challenging because there were so many different little areas to be colored in and I didn't want to have too many colors repeating in the same area. I like how it gave her mask a shiny effect. It looks so ornate and luxurious. I'm really happy with this one. She looks like a beautiful, mysterious, and magical woman. So this is my piece from my random blind scribbles into a finished work of art. Okay, well that was pretty exciting. I'm really glad how it turned out. And what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you for supporting Art and My Fun and Draw channel with your likes and subscribes. I'll see you every week on Tutorial Thursday and Fun Friday. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time. In case you want to check out my new art featured merchandise, clothing, and home accessories, my shop link is in the end card. You can tap or click to go right to my shop. 
Choose your styles, colors, and sizes. My shop ships internationally, and you can purchase with all major currencies through credit cards and PayPal. If you have any questions, you can also get help and support on Threadless. Happy shopping!